we're going to move on to add sets. Um, so at the ad set level, you choose your delivery preferences. You can define your audience, choose placements, and establish a schedule. And Facebook allows advertisers to target their ads to a wide variety of different audience types, uh, as we saw with boosted posts, but with even a little bit more granularity. So here uh, we'll see that we've moved to the ad set level. Um, and this will show us our potential audience reach based on our settings. And uh, we'll remember if we're aiming at a small spot, uh, as we heard earlier, Facebook might tell us that it won't work. Uh, we can remember, maybe we don't have to pay attention. Here's where we'll choose where we wanna drive our traffic to. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, so dynamic creative um, allows you to uh, select different um, elements for your ad and Facebook will determine uh, which elements are working best um, and favor those elements. Um, if that sounds like a little bit too much for you, don't worry about it. Today, we're gonna leave it off. Uh, scroll down a little bit more. We can see our budget and schedule here. So we can set a start date. We can set an end date if we're interested. And if we click on more options, that will give us our budgeting options and we can bu budget on the ad set level. Scroll down a little bit more. And this is where things start get interesting. We can uh, click custom audiences based on um, audiences that we've created before. This was where we'll enter our location, our age range, uh, gender, if that is applicable, um, and then the detail targeting, which is where things really get powerful. All right, so we'll start with the location. Here we're gonna focus on Chicago. Uh, so we'll see when we type in Chicago, we see all of these different options here. Um, and maybe we will pick North Chicago. And again, because it's in a city, 25 miles is too much. We'll turn it down to 10. We see the circle getting smaller. And there we go. And we'll set our age, in this case, uh, 18 to 65 plus. Um, basically everybody and all genders and we'll identify what detailed targeting options we want to add. So in this case, uh, we're seeing things uh, to do with fitness. So uh, workout, uh, different items there. And then when you click on them, um, it will show you the size, the potential size of the audience based on those options. So um, we can also click on uh, detailed target expansions. So this allows uh, you to reach people beyond your detailed targeting selections when it's likely to pr pr improve performance. So basically what Facebook is doing is uh, comparing people who are like uh, the people that you are advertising to but they just don't have the particular characteristic that you're specifically um, advertising about, but they share lots of other things in common with those people. Um, and this expands based on those sort of algorithm, uh, on, on the considerations of the algorithm. Um, you can choose it if you'd like or not. I'm not really sure, I'll be honest with you, how it works out here in the rural areas. Uh, it may be something that works better in a city. I'm not sure. Uh, it can be one of the things that you try out. Scroll down a little bit more and we'll get to the select placements. So your ads can appear in multiple places across the Facebook family of apps and technologies. The available placements may vary depending on which objective you select, but it'll include at least one of the following. So they'll appear in news feeds where I think we most often see them. Uh, they can appear in Facebook stories, um, in stream, in a search, uh, in messages, or in article, uh, or in apps and sites. So um, you can choose automatic placements here if you would like, or manual placements. 
today we're going to click on manual placements just so that we can see what the options are when we do that. Uh, and here you can see that there are all kinds of options. Maybe we're not interested in Messenger and the audience network, and we just want to focus on Facebook and Instagram. And then maybe we only want to focus on Facebook news feed and the Instagram feed. These are the two highest converting options that we can choose. And maybe we want to unclick everything else. So we'll scroll down a little bit and we'll see that everything is now unclicked. And we're just focusing on uh, the Facebook and Instagram feeds. All right. Now, um, there are a few more optimization and delivery options. Uh, so this has to do with what kinds of people it is that we want to click on our link. Do we want people um, to click on our link that will go all the way to the landing page of our website? Uh, do we want people that will just click on the link? Is that what we're trying to get? Um, and then there's other options um, depending on what it is that where it is we're trying to get people and what it is we're trying to optimize for. So you'll just have to sort of adjust based on what it is you're trying to accomplish. Um, and then in this case, we're going to go back up to the top now that we have set up all of our options and sort of a, a best practice that can be helpful is to name your ad set in a very precise way so that you know what you did when you just look at the title. So here we're setting up a physical fit fitness interest. It's focused on the news feed and where we're trying to get people to is our landing page. All right. So when we're done with all of that, we can click next. Uh, Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to speak with a business advisor at no cost to you, please feel free to reach out. We're the Small Business Development Center at Blue Mountain Community College. Please attend one of our workshops, either virtually or in person, or just give us a call. Thank you.